Oh, hi! This week, I'm gonna do some real basic things, but something I very badly need to do. I'm gonna turn a bunch of jeans into shorts, because if you didn't see it, I did a closet overhaul Marie Kondo KonMari thing, and uh, I only have two pairs of shorts, and one of them is like on its last legs. So I bought three new pairs of jeans from the thrift store, because where else do you buy clothes? One of which I'm gonna keep, but two I bought specifically to turn into shorts. And then, because the pair I bought that I'm gonna keep is like a skinny leg black pair. I finally get to retire these jeans, which I liked having one black pair of jeans, but these are also like boot cut. And granted, I'm almost always wearing Doc Martin boots, and that's what these kinds of pants are supposed to be for. I really just don't like how they fit. I like being able to have like a skinny leg and kind of like turn it up once. So I, I find myself not wearing these very often, but I'm gonna wear the fuck out of them. Shorts is gonna be great. And then in a similar fashion, Ugh, I bought both of these pairs new out of store. I guess one of the only times I've ever not gone thrifting for things. And I probably spent like $80 on four pairs of jeans. This is years ago. These are like flare leg. That was a thing again when I was in high school, but for similar reason, like I never find myself wearing these pants. So also gonna turn into shorts. I want some varying lengths because I'm, I know I'm gonna want to wear shorts at work, but it's also in a retail setting. So I need to be like appropriate. And most times shorts are way too short for me. That whole being an Amazon thing. So yeah, I'm gonna turn these into shorts and at least some of them make them work appropriate. And honestly, I'm just really excited to have some fucking purple shorts. It's gonna be great. I do have a video where I cut some jeans into shorts, but it has that very like raw edge look and I it's more showing you how to make it look worn on the bottom after you cut the actual leg off or shorten it. I guess you need like some amount of leg on there. But these are gonna be nice and neatly hemmed and everything. Uh, I may, <gasps> I may add lace. Oh shit, I may add lace to some of these. Do I add lace to the purple ones? I have tea right now, but do I actually make a drink for once? Fascinating how quickly that just disappears off my radar the second, you know, a tightening of the belt needs to happen. Not to get too deep into this conversation, but I am very, very thankful that I don't feel like the need to drink because um, that kind of shit does run in my family. So I just want to take a second to be grateful that that is not an impulse that I uh, have. I'm actually notorious for like opening a second beer and just never fucking touching it the rest of the day. Do I actually want a beer? I kind of just want water right now. God, I got boring when I turned 30, huh? Well, here's what you need. You're gonna need pants. These are all pants that fit me waist-wise. I could probably show you at some point how to take in a pair of pants. I guess maybe let out a pair of pants? They'd have to be made a certain way though with an allowance for being let out. So you need a pair of pants or four. These are specifically jeans and jeans with a stretch in it. Not that it really matters. So step number one is uh, try the pants on. And these are like a high-waisted situation. I want these ones to be a little longer, I think, because they're real gappy here. So if you go too short, it's gonna be like real gapy and that's no good. <laughs> I'm gonna just take some chalk. So I'm gonna mark a little below where I want it because you gotta keep in mind this is gonna get rolled up a little bit and sewn over. Yeah, about there looks good. And I'm just doing one leg because once I cut this off, I'm gonna match it to the other side. So, and then repeat that for the rest. It's actually reassuring because the two pairs I already owned, I wasn't sure if they still fit me or not. So that's something at least. These I'm gonna go a little shorter. One thing you have to keep in mind if you're going like pretty high up is you want to cut lower in the back because if you cut here and then it's straight back, that's uh, your cheeks are going to be hanging out. So cut it a little lower. It's just going to be a little bit of an angle on your side. So I would 100% of the time prefer to be wearing shorts than like full length jeans. My legs are like the one body part I've never been self-conscious about and I'm very tall so shorts are always gonna look short. I think I just got accustomed to it right out of the gate. You now as long as parts are covered I've just never felt any kind of shameful way about wearing like short shorts. More summery tops though on the other hand oh no goddamn way even something like this. This is like just a kind of open crew neck collar but even this much of my neck showing, I 
like freaked out about when I was younger. So I always wore like boxy boys band shirts that like would choke you basically. Ringer tees and stuff, I was all about it. So even this much of my decolletage showing was just cripplingly uncomfortable for me. Now fucking camisole with spaghetti straps and a strapless bra all day every day in the summer. I do have to say getting a shoulder tattoo definitely made me less self-conscious about my shoulders being exposed. I have greatly benefited from uh, some body art. All right, now I'll get off my soapbox and actually, you know, make these into shorts. Hey, it's voice over time and we're, and we're doing the thing. So we got your scissors and we're gonna cut where the line is drawn. And I'm just doing one layer at a time because I want the backside to be a little lower. Yeah, the side seams are always a pain in the ass. So we're cutting backside. I didn't mark anything out here, but I just knew it needed to kind of be a rounded lower cut. So we got, got through that, showing you what I did. Definitely didn't do an evenly cut job. Cool. Cleaning it up. Excellent. Real professional shit over here. And then I'm matching up the cut pant leg to the uncut pant leg and this is one way you can go about it is tracing the chalk line onto the second pant leg so that you know you don't risk the other pant leg moving around or anything just makes it beginner friendly I would say this is a safer safer option more time consuming but less room for error I think second pair cut and we got our first pair of shorts and I'm going to save the scraps for, I don't know, something. I have a whole bin of just cut off pant legs. Also, yeah, this wasn't recording. Not that you need too much more information on the cutting part, but I did this second pair of jeans a different way. I just laid the first leg on top of the second leg and that seemed to go all right. But again, maybe do the chalk line if you're nervous about it not coming out perfect because this isn't gonna be 100% even. Oh, I'm definitely watching Annika Victoria's video in the background. I think this was one of her make thrift try challenges and I'm clearly getting distracted by it while doing this. It's the one indulgence I have working from home some days is I will have crafty videos on in the background. As for the jeans I'm keeping longer, I'm just cutting straight across. I'm not making a different height between the front and the back because they're gonna be lower so you don't have to worry about butts hanging out. All right, time to sew some things. Getting my matching thread. All right, we're gonna fold over one raw edge and fold it over again. This is kind of the quick and dirty way to go about this. I'm just doing a zigzag stitch. The length doesn't matter. You could do a straight stitch if you're stretching your pants along the way, but I didn't want to risk getting like a lettucey edge. So yeah, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. This is not the most precise way to go about it. These little snips rule, by the way, but yeah. It's not 100% even all the way around, just kind of winging it for this one. For the second pair, I'm sewing each edge one at a time. So I'm folding over once, stitching it down, keeping an even seam allowance, and then folding the second fold to hide the raw edge. And it's gonna be a little bit more neat. It is, you know, two rounds of sewing, so it's a little more time consuming, but I think it gives a nice finished look. I also tucked that hem to the inside rather than the outside. All right, now for this third technique, I have a serger. Obviously, if you don't have one, this won't be an option, but I'm just stitching around the edge of each pant leg. I'm not cutting anything off here, unless there's something to even out. Yeah, we got our serged edges, and this way I can fold it in twice, and it's gonna be a perfect edge. Like, the measurement's gonna stay even the whole way, because I have a guideline to go by. Okay, on to pair number four. Ooh, voiceover is not happening anymore. Just because I, I, I don't know why. Inconsistent editing is like what I do. So this pair, I think I think I am going to go with the lace. I was debating about it. It's going to happen. These are a more like bluish purple and this is like a more reddish purple. But fuck it, man. I'm, I'm going to do it. There are many ways you can apply the lace. This is how I'm going to do it, especially because... This lace is meant for being knit into like a ruffly scarf. So it has holes for your knitting needle or crochet hook up at the top. And I don't want that to show. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to fold the edge over and line it up. The crotch seat. And actually, I'm going to go 
this way because I'm thinking of how this is going to run around the serger. Planning ahead for once. And yeah, basically doing like our right sides together situation. I should be using black thread, but I don't feel like changing it right now. I'm gonna serge these together. You can do just a regular stitch to get them together. What? Whatevs. Yeah, I'm going in just enough to either cut off or overlap with the threads this dumb little hole right here. You could also gather the lace. That'd probably look really cool. That may turn it into like bloomer territory, which isn't necessarily what I'm going for. All right, and now that I'm back around, I'm gonna cut a little overlap. Fold that over this way. This is not the prettiest way to do this, but it's, it's what I'm doing. done yet but this you know we're, we're getting somewhere do that for the other leg all right and you may be saying to yourself you can see the seam not for long friendos i do need to decide if i'm using this bright purple that i have which i don't hate as long as i do the stitching exactly perfect I think it's called under stitching but it's it's kind of a top stitch if i just go with the black I don't love that though. Mm, yeah, maybe. I don't ever put anything that's not either this brand or this brand in here. I was scolded so hard by the woman at the sew and back to not use Coates and Clark specifically. It's just, you know, cheap thread, just any cheaper thread. They were very specific. Like these two brands are really good. Guterman and Metzler, I think is how you say them. I'm not sure. I should know better because I think they're both German companies and I, I am that. But anyway, I want to use this up. It's just for top stitching. It's not for any structural integrity. I also want to use the wooden spool to make some jewelry. So yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna use this on my machine. Fingers crossed I don't regret making this decision. So yeah, to explain how we're gonna go about sewing this is here's our nice outside and we're just gonna tuck that little dude under and stitch on the jean side. So that way it's gonna hide it and not show through the lace anymore. All right, let's stop talking about doing it and, you know, do it. This is the problem when I do the talky bits while I'm actually doing the thing is that everything takes so much longer. <laughs> you girl can't focus. What a surprise. Oh, could I have picked a worse way to go about moving the tripod? Good Lord. Sorry. <laughs> Why am I like this? I'm not worried about the bobbin color because that's all gonna be hidden underneath and not showing anywhere. So I'm just gonna leave the blue that's in there. Unless it was like a white that might show through on the top stitching where I backstitch. Quick question, do y'all make a point to put your spool on a certain way, like with toilet paper rolls, like overhand versus underhand? Beautiful. I'm gonna do a little top stitching right here just to attach these ends so it's not flopping open. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Also, hey, like, don't be afraid to take your machine apart. This is not that many pieces. I think I undid a thumb screw and I took the needle out and then it was just the one screw to take this plate off. Look, can we just talk about like all the shit in there? Ew. So on top of, you know, getting this unstuck from here, it's also just good to like brush this kind of stuff out once in a while. All right, attempt two, rather than uh, starting from this edge out. I'm just, I'm gonna start here so that I have something to pull so it doesn't fucking chew it all up. If you have something you can pull, it's less likely to get eaten in the machine is what I'm getting at. In theory, let's, let's see how this goes for me. I'm talking a big game. All right, that's our last pair of shorts. Let's try them on. Good thing it's real cold out. This won't be bad at all. Yeah, I don't mind these. Again, they're not a length I would normally go for. I usually go a little shorter, but like I need work appropriate ones. So I think, I think these are gonna do it. They're still like frilly. Yeah, I have a feeling these are gonna get the most wear because they're, you know, regular jean fabric and like, that's the length. That's it. It's like, you know that fingertip rule. I have forever long arms. So I don't think these are too, like nothing, nothing's hanging out. These are longer in the back. I think these are pretty appropriate. These jeans were always so good. I always liked how it fit up here, but just the flare leg wasn't doing it for me. 
Similarly with these black ones. I knew these were comfortable fit, like a little weird. I don't like them as much as the blue ones, but they're definitely gonna get more wear. I really like black shorts. Not that I mind full length black jeans, but um, especially with how like faded these ones are compared to these ones. I, I'm gonna enjoy these more as shorts. These are at least forgiving in the waist, but they also like, I don't let my little beer tummy stick out too much. Yeah, pockets are good. And yeah, same thing. I don't, I don't feel like I went scary short with these. Sometimes you get to worry if the legs are like a little too wide and don't hug you close like these are. It's like if you put your leg out, if your, I don't know, under butt's gonna stick out. <laughs> under butt is definitely a term, right? Oh, this just got me so excited for like, hiking in the spring as into summer as I ever get because you know mosquitoes and hot this is gonna make my summer much more tolerable yay I've just been I think the only things I've been buying I've been given so many hand-me-down cardigans and stuff because I needed them it's been cold so the fact that I have a whole pile of shorts now is so exciting because I was down to two pairs and one is getting pretty threadbare and the other one like so yeah speaking of going outside i was gonna edit this right away because today is monday i started this yesterday it'll go up two days from now but um i'm gonna i'm gonna go outside and go for a walk it's not like bitterly cold out i think it's supposed to be kind of overcast but um if there's some sunshine i would like to be in it for a little bit so yeah i'm gonna pack a little snack and Go for a walk, maybe maybe find a good trail to go hiking on or something. Nothing crazy. Everything's still a little icy right now. Again, this turned into like a much more productive tutorial than I kind of originally anticipated, which I think is good. Oh, oh my gosh, since I have it on, um, and I, why, there will be an Etsy listing for this by the time you see this, so link to my Etsy shop in the description. I've been adding a ton of stuff on there because I've made so many things for conventions and art fairs, but for some reason, just kept putting off the Etsy listings. It's because it's a pain in the ass to list a bunch of different things on Etsy. That That's why I was putting off. But I'm really trying to build up my shop to more than just the like 12 things that have been on there forever. And one of those things is the patches I made of this saying, the dog fart cat barf thing. That video is forever the best. Google search those four words and uh, you'll you'll find what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna put the patches I made on there because I, I figured that's a good spot to have them for sale. If I'm trying to sell something, maybe maybe my online shop is the way to go. <laughs> if you'd like to get one, I know I mentioned them a million ways and made it much more complicated than it need to be. Just go to my Etsy shop, then we can we can sort things out over there. Yeah, speaking of my Etsy, I'll link to that and my Patreon, which is my favorite place to hang out with you all now that are over there. It's such a like fun community. I love you all so much and you're so helpful and it's thanks to my patrons I get to do this whole thing. I don't have to be in freak out mode yet uh, as far as having lost the costume shop job. So like everyone over there is making this happen. So thank you all very much. So yeah, feel free to like comment, hang out over there. It's great. Yeah, I also have a Kofi coffee page. Uh, I do have a website. I don't know that I've mentioned that to anybody. Uh, it's sewingnerdstudios.com. I'm trying to like build up my portfolio over there. So there's a bunch of photos that I've never posted anywhere else. So if you want to go check that out, that, that will be the place. I'll be adding more links to things up there and uh, probably post pictures of mm, cosplay things as I get more into that. I, I think that's all the stuff. I mean, subscribe if you want and, and I'll throw up another video somewhere. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the new video on Saturday. Oh, right, the whole here's what you need thing. You, you know what you need for this. I trust you to figure it out. <laughs>